Chelsea news and Chelsea transfer news in a five minute video with me, Chelsea Daft. This is the website, ChelseaDaft.org. All the videos and written words on there. Make sure you check it out. But for today, so much to feature. Let's get cracking. Frank Lampard has been told to cancel contract offer due to three players. And this has come from Gabriel Marcotti talking about the contract offer to Willian. He said this, I wouldn't give William a new contract. You need to work out who can play and who can't play. Look at Callum hudson Doy, who everyone seems to have forgotten. 18 months ago, it was like he was the greatest thing in the world. Let's find out what he can do. Let's find out what Christian Pulisic can do. And let's find out what Hakim Ziyech can do. Does he have a point? Talking goalkeepers and Atletico Madrid set asking price for Chelsea to seal Jan Oblak transfer. Atletico Madrid have revealed they will not accept any bid lower than £110 million. We are yet to see if Chelsea go in with an um, offer of m a certain amount of money plus Kepa as a swap. So to Football London, and Marina Granovskaya has already planned a fourth Chelsea signing to follow Kai Havertz, who would possibly be our third signing after Hakim Ziyech and Timo Werner. And that's Robin Goosens, the left-back at Atalanta, who's taken the eye and has been somebody on Chelsea's radar as an alternative to Ben Chilwell and Nicolas Tagliafico. We have to wait and see what happens. So to defenders and Nathan Aki's Chelsea buyback clause detailed as Man City are in for Aki. It was believed that Chelsea's buyback clause with the Aki contract had expired, but it's now being reported it could be at the end of this season. As we've seen on social media and press reports, Man City are in talks over a £35 million deal, with Bournemouth looking likely to be relegated this season. Chelsea could still activate the buyback clause if they're looking for a centre-half if Fakao Tomori goes out on loan next season. Could £40 million Aki be the answer, or is it somebody else? What do you think? Somebody else is still on the radar is Declan Rice, and it's being reported over social media the last 24, 48 hours. Chelsea to offer two first-team players to West Ham in exchange for Declan Rice. It was reported on social media that Ross Barkley and Michy Batchwai are those players and they weren't involved on the weekend at the FA Cup against Man United. But there's a twist in this. According to The Guardian, West Ham have got no intention of selling Declan Rice and are not interested in Barkley or Batchwai as part of a deal for him. So there's some interesting transfer news this evening that's come about and Dean Henderson the Man United goalkeeper who's on loan at Sheffield United. Chelsea are reportedly prepared to double his wages to convince him to leave Man United. The 23-year-old and his representatives have been contacted by Chelsea. And it's been reported he currently earns £70,000 a week. They're saying that Chelsea are willing to offer him up to £170,000 a week. Staggering. Now to just some bits and pieces from Frank Lampard's press conference this afternoon. On Callum Hudson-Odoi, I've spoken about Callum a lot. He needs to keep training at the highest level, which is actually what I've seen him doing, particularly in the last week to 10 days. In the two games he's come on, he's had good impacts in the last two performances, and that's the way he needs to continue. He's a young player with great talent, great potential, and I want to see the potential come through. The Kai Havertz links. I'm not talking about Kai Havertz. He's a player of another team. I'm looking at the game tomorrow. That is so huge for this club. The last thing I want to do is talk about players of other teams. Of the final two games as the pressure ramped up, he said, not particularly. I always presumed it would be top four because I thought it was the best base point to be at. I remain there. We are still there and obviously now it's a fact. We work the same way. We don't look too far ahead, especially as we don't have many games left. It's very clear what the objective is, so the pressure remains the same. There is pressure on Chelsea to get in the Champions League. Now we know it's top four. That's what it is. Is Nangolo Conte fit for tomorrow? No, he's not fit. He's not ready for the game. That's it from me. Tuesday the 21st of July. It's the latest Chelsea news and transfer news in a five-minute video. Join me tomorrow for the match preview around the same time ahead of the game at Anfield tomorrow. And just a note on that, I'll be turning the game on just before it kicks off. And as soon as it finishes, turn it off straight after. I cannot be asked to watch all that palaver that happens after and the build-up. If you like the video, smash the like button for me, then subscribe to the channel, but make sure you hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss when my videos come out every day 
the daily news. Check out more content listed here for more from my channel and let me know what you think of the video in the comments section below. Have a good evening. See you tomorrow.